and action. G'day guys, it's Paul here from The Hook and the Cook and I'm out today with Scotty and we've got a, uh, a special guest here all the way from California. Um, it's Steve Wozniak, he's caught more fish or more species of fish than any other angler in the world and I'm um, just doing a little interview here. We've been fishing all day, we've caught him a, a beautiful groper. Um, how many fish species have we caught today, Steve? Uh, two new ones for me, yep. a uh, Mary Cod and a Zigzag Rass, so that uh, takes the count up to 1446, which means I've caught more small fish than almost anybody, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how many world records do you hold, Steve? I've got 105 IGFA world records, um, but for the viewing public, these are not necessarily big fish. A world record can be a one pound fish uh, uh, of, of some species nobody else cared about enough to turn in, and that's really what I specialize in. Okay. And um, how long have you been in Australia, and how, often, how, old, how long have you been now, Scotty? Oh boy. I, when I met Scotty, we both had hair. Um, <laughs> that's a long I, time ago. I fished with Scott uh, the first time in May of 2000, so yeah, that's uh, 15 years by my count. 15 years? And uh, I mean, I fish with him a whole bunch of days, and uh, we've gone up to Weepa together. Yep. Um, and caught some big fish up there. I caught some monsters up there. We've yeah. caught some good fish here, though, in Sydney over the years. So. Yeah. So the difference is when you're when you're sort of looking for fish, you're looking. Sometimes I was noticing today you, you've caught some really small wrasse, all different types of fish, getting really excited about that. Whereas another fisherman might just think, oh, this is a, a you know a bit of a hopeless bycatch. But you find them fascinating and. I could see the energy you had in there. So you're trying to say a normal person doesn't care about junk fish. I see where you're going with it. I thought Australia was friendly. Um, yeah, I mean, I it, it really is the odd bods and the 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 you know the the weird stuff that I really get into because that a lot of times those are new things. I mean, we just caught a little grouper over here that's more much more of a northerly fish yeah. that uh, you shouldn't see here and, and just out in the middle of a sand patch in, in Port Hacking. Um, and we got a wrasse, uh, you know, I'd seen for years. I saw it in Sydney Aquarium years ago. Yeah. Um, and we finally just caught one here. I think it's the last wrasse in, in Sydney that I uh, haven't caught. Wow, well, that's amazing. So, love that stuff, absolutely. Yeah. Well, today, guys, I'm going to uh, put a little treat in for Steve today. I'm going to cook him up. Well, when I say cook him up, we're actually going to make a little uh, capaccio dish, which is a raw fish. We, Steve caught me a nice tailor earlier on. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll do a little dish up and uh, we'll get back to you later guys and let's see if Steve enjoys it. That'll be good. Let's hope I'm not hanging over the side. That won't be seasickness people. <laughs> okay I've looked at the ingredients that are brought with me today and I'm going to do a dish for Steve um, which is a ceviche or ceviche um, of fish where we basically cure the fish with citrus. Okay, the first thing I've got to do is take the fillets off these tailor, or as Steve likes to call them, and most Americans would call them, bluefish. So I'm going to make an incision behind the first two side fins up into the head. Then I just twist the knife and slice along the background. Place your hand on top of the fillet and press firmly with your knife against the bone of the fish, making long, even strokes, and then we remove the fillet. Now run the knife behind the rib cage and remove. For this dish, we need to remove the skin of the tailor. So I'm gonna make an incision in the tail of the fillet, then grab the skin firmly, and a good tip is to put a little bit of salt in your fingers. It helps give you a good grip. Angle the knife and pull the skin backwards towards you, wriggling the skin as you go. Just check for the occasional loose scale, then remove the bloodline of the fish by cutting down the center of the fillet. Slice the fillet into even pieces on a slant, remembering to wipe your knife as the protein dulls the edge and makes it blunt. A 
arrange the slices of Taylor neatly on a plate in a circle. Now it's time to make our dressing. Finely slice some fresh mint and spring onion. Then dice a cheek of Spanish red onion. Now I want a little bit of heat to come through on this dish. So I'm going to remove the seed from a long chili, then slice and dice. Top and tail align and remove the pith and the outer skin. Segment some of the line and carefully separate the little line membrane. Do the same with the orange and segment, carefully removing that sweet, beautiful membrane. Okay, the reason why I do this is so I get little bursts of sweet and sour throughout the dish. To bring these beautiful flavours together, I'm going to add some olive oil just before serving. Then I'm going to squeeze some lemon, lime and orange into the ingredients to help cure the fish. I'm going to cube some bread to soak up all them beautiful ingredients. Next I'm going to pan some pistachios just to add some texture and crunch. And then finally we're going to dress the dish with some citrus marinade, add the cube bread, season with salt and pepper and add some crushed pistachios and let's hope Steve enjoys it. Well Steve, there we go mate, there's the, the tailor that I've prepared for you and this is a new dish that I've made up just for you. Okay, so basically it's a ceviche of, uh, of tailor and right. um, we've got some lemon, lime, uh, some oranges in there and some nuts because I reckon you are definitely nuts. Okay, that's saying that as a, you know, my, a term my, of endearment. My inner child is weeping. So it's going to be called a uh, tailor a la Wozniak. <laughs> you know, I've never had a dish named after me. My, my grandmother ate raw bluefish once and warned me never to eat raw tailor. <laughs> she, she died the next day. <laughs> So, well, right, that's a piece it. of bread. You gotta right, eat I know. the raw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 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 get the, the gonna eat the raw. I was gonna try to fake my way through the. Uh, <laughs> you the gotta bread get here. a bit of everything. All right, I'm trying Make to get sure some. Make sure you get a few of those nuts in there, mate. I'm trying to get a couple nuts and. Ready? <laughs> It'll stay down. <laughs> That's outstanding, actually. I, I uh, Taylor, I, I wasn't sure about it as an eating fish, but uh, this is really excellent. So yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's good. You get the mint good. come through, make it really yeah, the freshens mint it is... up, and a bit of heat from the chili. Absolutely, and, and it's but it's not drowned in, in chili sauce, you know. Which uh, is, yeah, there's you nothing know. worse than Taylor in sweet chili sauce, is there? Well, wrapped you up know, in foil. it's an amateur who will do that. <laughs> you know, they'll load you up on sweet chili sauce and think that's cooking. And sorry, guys, yeah. that's a private joke for us between. Steve and myself, yeah, really and good. Scotty, of course. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. Who's buying the camera? So you had a good day? Outstanding day. A couple of species, a record. Got to hang out with you guys. Yeah, cool. I'm getting filmed with my mouth. No worries. Well, thanks very much. Dude, thanks so no much. No worries. Take care. And uh, we'll see you back on the hook and the cook. Take care, guys. <laughs>